In this video, I'm gonna show you two trades for which I call them keeping the lights on covered call trades. I love using these great stocks that trade in such a range. They're so bankable, we could use them to put good money on the table. I do it every single month and I have two of them for you today. I want you to stick around to the very end because the last one answers a question I get all the time. Hey John, when you place a trade and the stock goes above your strike price, do you let the shares go away? Stick around to the end and I'm gonna tell you exactly how I do it. Hey, look, got my new CPT Nation shirt on. If you want to be a part of a contest for which I'm going to send one of these out to a winner, that's right, in the comments below, say, I want my CPT. Stick around. I know you're going to like this one. Hey, welcome back, everyone. It is time for another Red Hot Covered Call video. That's right, I'm back behind the mic, fired up to show you two trades for which I'm in right now that uh, I call keeping the lights on trade. Look, in retirement, we need cash flow to pay the bills. Okay, if you do not wanna work in retirement and you need a part-time job, I've told you from the jump, selling premium, writing covered calls and selling cash secure puts is your part-time job. And the great thing is you can do it now. I'm doing it right now and I'm not in retirement yet. We're absolutely having success and I love sharing it forward right here on this channel. I just crossed 9,000 subscribers, blowing my mind that you keep coming back interested in what I'm sharing. I'm sharing my talent. So what I want you to do is get your cup of coffee. I want you to sit back and listen and learn, absorb it, take it in, get excited. Because at the end of the day, what I'm about to show you here is real. The money that I've made and the money I'm making is 100% real. So uh, that's what we're talking about today. Generating cash flow with my keeping the lights on trade. And I'm going to explain what that means here in a minute. Hey, look, before we get going, if you like anything you hear today and you're excited, you want to be a part of it, I come back every week and show you timely and relevant covered call and cash secure put trades. I show you the money I make, not to brag and boast, but to inspire you, for you to see what a guy like me, a, a guy just like you can make doing this with a portfolio. I'll tell you what, this is your cash printing machine. Once you get your experience, once you get off the bench, get in the game, you too can have the same success. So hey, look, subscribe to the channel. It's right there and it's free. And hey, look, if you like this video today, bang that like button. It lets me know you like what I'm doing. Now, what I'm doing is this. I'm, I'm trying to get to these trades as quick as possible, but I want to mention a couple things. Go to my website, cpt-board.com, click free newsletter. You will be added to a list for a covered call newsletter that I'm sending out this month. Now, look, I don't spam you. I do not sell you anything. It's literally meant to up your game. But here's the hook. If you sign up, I love to send out a free membership contest. And we did it last week. I'm going to announce the winner today. So uh, I want you to be a part of that if you're interested in what we're doing at the membership. Okay, go to cpt-board.com, download your free spreadsheets for which I don't sell you nothing, no ads, no nothing. Download them. I even have how to use videos. cpt-board.com, get your free newsletter, get your free spreadsheets. And I told you we're going to roll through this rather quickly today because I have two trades. Here's my totals update for the year. Right now, booked on the table, stacked money, $84,341. I have many, many trades closing in August and September. We are rolling to my record $110,000 that I achieved last year doing this. That's my goal right now. I want to achieve over $110,000 in 2021. I'm telling you, once you learn this, it flows like water. And I actually told somebody this the other day. Once you learn the covered call strategy where you buy shares, you give somebody the right to take them from you at a price you pick, at a time frame you pick, you've heard it time and time again, they pay you the upfront premium. That's the money we put in our wallet. We actually can spend it the minute it hits our account. Now, one stock I'm going to show you today is a buy and hold stock for which I use in a doubling my dividend strategy. 
using covered call writing. I've explained that many times where I love using a company's off months, meaning the months there's no company events, right? That's when we want to stay away from selling premium. Well, those buy and hold stocks just sit there, right? They go sideways to higher, collecting that dividend. Life's great. But what I love to do is on those off months, right? Those two months for which they have no earnings, no X date, and typically no news, when they're trading at the top of their range, I love to write that deep out of the money cover call. Collect a premium that equals the company's quarterly dividend. Keeps me excited, keeps me motivated. I am a goal-driven cat. And when I set goals to double my dividends using covered call writing, man, I am on it. And I'm doing that right now with one of the stocks I'm gonna show you right now. So let's go ahead and get to that because I'll tell you what, making 84,000 is absolutely fabulous for 2020, but we got some work to do. We got about another $30,000 to make at minimum to break my record from last year. And I'll tell you what, that's why I want you to stick around because I'm going to be doing videos the rest of the way showing you how I knock it down. All right, if you haven't been in the channel, this is what I do, man. I try to motivate and inspire you to get your education, get off the bench, stop watching other people have success. Uh, because at the end of the day, YouTube does not pay me enough to be doing this to make YouTube money. What motivates me here is that over the past five years of this channel, you have shown such support to the channel and the videos I do. You tell me your story. See, telling me your story motivates me. Look, man, I can't take any days off when I know cats like you are out there knocking it down, looking for a little bit of guidance, maybe to up your game. That's how I see this channel. All right, so let's get to the star of the show. You already see it. We're talking Bristol Myers. Bristol Myers is one of my favorite keeping the lights on trade. Now, I have another stock, so don't so don't just say, oh man, I waited for all this. I have two stocks here. I want you to hang tight, okay? Bristol Myers is a buy and hold stock for me. Love buying it, love holding it, collecting the dividend. I've held it since 2011, knocking it down, right? What I love to do is when Bristol Myers is trading in such a range, it gets at the top of the range. And when it gets to the top of its range, I love writing a deep out of the money covered call, collect a premium for which would equal their dividend, their quarterly dividend. So this is what I'm talking about at the membership, highlighting the fact that Bristol Myers right now is trading in such a way you could either do a cash secure put or buy shares and write a covered call. I sent this to the members just last week before I placed my trade. Now, one thing you need to understand, I am all in with Bristol Myers. I have a thousand shares and I have two leap call options for which I'm writing poor man's covered calls on Bristol Myers. So I am absolutely all in watching Bristol Myers all the time. When Bristol Myers announced earnings, had a little rally, the X date is behind us. Now it's in that window of two months where we can use the stock and we can pretty much bank it trade sideways to higher. And that's what's happening with Bristol Myers. I showed the members the chart where Bristol Myers is riding that Keltner channel mid, okay? Some of you don't use the Keltner channel, I do. I use it religiously. Look, you can watch all of these videos on YouTube with all their indicators and all their fancy dancy. At the end of the day, the Keltner channel is the truth. It is a stocks trading range. And without any major news or major F ups from the company, Steve Wynn, they are going to trade in this range. And the Keltner channel mid is a great line, whether I'm going to get involved or not. Looking at that midline, you could see it dances off the midline. That is called support. Over the past five or six times, Bristol Myers has hit that midline, Wall Street comes in. Now, when it heads towards the top of the Keltner Channel mid, you could see that it'll sell off. Now, they call that resistance, right? If it does not stay above that line, that resistance line that you can visually draw right there for at least three trading days, well, that's not a breakout. So in this case, the stock is not breaking out. It's trading up to the resistance, down to support, up to resistance, down to support. We can bank on this, quote unquote, sideways trading. I talked about this with Rocket Mortgage and I talk about this with all these stocks that trade in this range. We can bank on them. So I sent this to the members. For me, it was about, look, if you don't have action with Bristol Myers, you can use a cash secure put at support, that bottom line. And then whether you are assigned the shares or whether you're not assigned the shares, we collect a premium. And here's the deal. When we're entering trades at the bottom of the range, uh, we don't find ourselves getting kicked in the ribs when the stock continues to fall like some of these more high flyers. Zillow, 
Bristol Myers can be banked on for some great range bound trades. Now bringing up Bristol's chart, this is exactly what we're looking for when we're looking for a great covered call stock. You see videos out there talking about great covered call candidate stocks. Uh, Bristol Myers should be on every single list, largely because it checks every single checkbox for a great stock. Giant S&P type company, great mature business with growth when they bought Celgene. They trade in such a tight range that we can bank on it. They have support, they have volume, they have a dividend, they have open interest on all of their options. I'll tell you what, this is one of my favorites. I, I know I said 3M a couple weeks ago, but I love Bristol Myers for this trade. And every single time Bristol Myers would get to the top, what would I do? I would go ahead and write that out of the money covered call. And uh, generally with where it's been trading right now, it's been, it's been trading around this 65 low, 68 high. So when it would get to 68, I would then write the 30 delta deep out of the money covered call for 30 days. It basically represented its quarterly dividend. I would pick up 46 cents, 52 cents, and that's all I wanted. And as the stock would peel off that premium for which I got paid 50 cents, for giving somebody the right, but not the obligation to take my shares in the next 30 days at a strike price I pick. And uh, in this case, it's been the 70 strike. That option would decrease as the stock would peel off. As it peels back to support every single day, time decay starts happening to the option. And now that option is falling from 50 cents to 40 cents to 30 cents. And when it would get anywhere under 10 cents, I would pull the trigger, buy it back, and we would sit. We would sit until it would happen again. And it's been doing that. Now for me, I have about five of these stocks, so I'm able to run a stock here, a stock there, let one sit on the bench, uh, let another sit on the bench. So for me, I've got these spinning plates working, and it's a great opportunity to just always keep skin in the game. Now the absolute takeaway from that is when a stock trades at the top of its range and you've been holding it for a while and you've been holding it, write that out of the money strike or the at the money strike to get the fattest premiums. And if you believe it's gonna tail off to support, manage the trade. As the stock starts to pull down, you know it's gonna turn and head back towards support Manage the trade, and as it comes down, right? Say you got a dollar. As it comes down to 80 cents, 50 cents. If it falls below 50 cents, start considering buying it back. And then what we do, and how I do it is this. However many days the trade has been on the books at this point, right? The stock's falling. It's been on the books for two weeks. Now, if I buy the option back, I'm gonna go ahead and then immediately write another covered call, but I'm gonna push the expiration out the extra two weeks. Remember, it had ran for two weeks. Now, I buy it back, the trade's done, I sit there with shares, the stock may still fall to support. We know what support looked like. I'll then write the out of the money covered call probably at the top of the Keltner channel, not out of the money such that it's above the Keltner channel, top. I would write it at the top of the Keltner channel, which in this case, I think was 69. And then again, as the stock falls, it's going to take a little bit of time to move higher. The trade will probably expire. 30 days later, we pocket two crumbs in one month. Now, the second stock is great because this is an experiment in literally buying a stock, writing the near the money covered call, collecting about 3.2% and the stock just runs. And I immediately got questions from my uh, members. And by the way, uh, if you wanna become a member, you wanna see what we're doing over at the membership, I got one free month for you. CPTdashboard.com, click upgraded dashboard, one free month waiting for you. What I love to do, buy a stock, write the at the money covered call, and then just let the stock go. Let it go. If the shares are taken away, if my premium equals that 3%, 4%, 5%, John doesn't care. I wanna make 3% cash on cash on my money every single month. Do the math. If we are doing that every single month, we are killing the S&P 500. That's just fact. That's not me pulling numbers out of the sky. If you're able to take money, buy a stock, write the at the money covered call, you collect the three and 4% and the stock goes higher, your shares are taken away, you're cashed out, you made 3.2% in 30 days. While you're waiting for that trade to end, you go ahead and prepare with another stock. And this is what we do, we just turn this over, man, this is cash flow. 
All right. This puts money on the table. And that's what I talk about at the membership. My membership is 100% selling premium. I don't show you meme stocks and could have, would have, should have day trades. It's about putting cash flow on the table. Whether you're 45, 55, 65, you're going to need cash flow in retirement or in retirement. That's all I talk about at the membership. Now, the members got this email on Cisco. Uh, when Cisco was about to have earnings, I went back and I noticed a couple things with Cisco. Now, this was the email talking about a cash secure put to do on Cisco. There was not much downside risk. So I said, look, if you would like a little bit of skin in the game with Cisco, look for Cisco right now as it's trading in its lower, as it's trading lower in its range. You may not be assigned the shares. You could probably pick up a 2% premium. So I sent out this email to the members. This is my weekly cash secure put play. Love it. I'm going to show you what that looks like on the actual email I sent to the members. So as you can see on August 10th, uh, this is before their earnings. August 10th, I send this out to the members. It's trading for 55.87 when I write this email. I love breaking it down, right? Giving that meat on the bone for the members to understand why John is watching this. And in this case, I talked about Cisco reporting earnings and how the last time they reported or earnings, it did not move the needle. They broke every record, sales record in their company. It did not move the needle. I saw the same thing happening this time. And in fact, they did. Well, the cash secure put right here would have been great because look at that drop. Look at that drop right there. You're getting a little bit of cash secure put premium because the stock is falling off. It's one of the biggest networking companies on the planet, if not the 800 pound gorilla. Even if you're stuck with the stock, you know, you might be stuck with a stock that's trading a couple points lower. You can write covered calls on this because this stock, this is a tech stock. It has some decent, decent to moderate premiums, but that's okay. This is what we want. They too are another great stock that we can use for covered call. They check all the check boxes. And in this case, I told the members, look, here was earnings last time. And you could see it did nothing and it moved higher because they are a giant in the industry, truly a utility type stock uh, in the way it moves and it pays that nice dividend. I talked about the cash secure put when it was trading at 55.87, go ahead, do the 55 cash secure put, get the buck 25 premium, you make 2.2% and I'll tell you what, the way I saw it, there wasn't much risk. And now I'm gonna show you the chart as to where it's at. Let me show you exactly what I did uh, because I didn't do the cash secure put. I actually bought shares and wrote a covered call. Now, Cisco announced earnings and uh, the stock's moving higher. And to be honest with you, I said, look, I want to be a part of this. They blew away the numbers. So I said, I'm going to buy 300 shares right now, wherever it was trading. I went ahead and bought 300 shares. I then immediately wrote the at the money covered call. And if my shares were taken away, I would make 3.2% for 30 days. I got an email immediately after I did this trade from one of the members where they said, look, now the stock's trading at 57. What are you going to do? Are you going to buy back or roll it? No, no, man. I want to make 3.2% and move on. I want stress-free trades, right? Because I got Zillow and I'm absolutely scrambling to keep money coming in. So I use trades like this keeping the lights on where I can write that nice and easy swing and covered call on a stock that's moving higher. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the chart. I want to show you how this played out. And I'm telling you, man, I'm getting excited. I'm getting excited because I have another stock I'm going to send to the members on Monday. Same deal. In fact, I'm going to release that on Facebook. If you haven't been to my Facebook group, CPT dashboard, I want you to follow that page. I post up stuff there all the time that no one sees on the channel. I love keeping everyone engaged, letting them know what I'm doing, what I'm thinking, right? Seeing the world through John's eyes. So go to Facebook, search CPT dashboard, follow my page. And uh, again, you want to be a part of the membership? You like what I talked about today? We do this every day. So I want you to go to my website, click upgraded dashboard and get your one free month. Now, real quick, before we look at that chart, you could see right there, I got this, I bought the shares August 19th. I went ahead at 55.67. The stock was already up. They had already announced earnings. I went ahead and sold the September 24th, 56 strike. I did three contracts. They paid me $1.32. Now, this is a 36-day trade. So for me, if my shares are taken away, if, if I get max profit, they take my shares, I keep my premium, that's 3.2%. And I'll take that every day of the week when you think about how the S&P 500 historically 
makes about 8% annually. So this premium turns out to be about $396 for this 36 day trade. This is one of those sweet swinging trades where I don't have to worry much about it. Let's go to the chart. I'll show you what I saw so we can finish this up. Anything look familiar here? Yeah, it looks just like Bristol Myers. And to make 3.2% on a trade that you pretty much set it and forget it, this is where you want to be if you're trying to generate cash flow. You know, a lot of people don't have the appetite for risk. Might love the risk, but you don't want the risk. Companies like Cisco and Bristol Myers and Abvi and 3M, these are the stocks that we can use to have that easy swing in nine iron to the green, right? I call it my cash printing machine and I live it by doing it. So right here, you could already see, we wake up in the morning, Cisco announces earnings, the stock's popping. Bought it at 55X, went ahead, wrote the near the money 56, got the buck 32. Look what happens to the stock. It absolutely rallies to 58. I got an email from members saying, what are you gonna do now? I'm gonna let it play out. Because there's actually a chance this thing will pop and then come back and it may not finish above 56. We don't know where this market's gonna be. I got 36 days to figure this out. But as of right now, the money I invested in this trade is profitable we watch it we manage it and if this were to peel back and that option of a buck 32 were to get under 10 cents of course i'm going to buy it back but you know what i like about this company and this stock it has proven that it will not fall off the table will not fall off the table so chances are i could buy the option back use the same stock right another covered call putting real money on the table, paying the bills, going on vacation, helping my grandkids pay for college. If any of that interests you, I highly suggest you learn this, you get your education, get off the bench, open your small ball account, do your very first safe trade, get in the game, stop watching other people have success. Hey, I want to thank you for watching this video and I hope it upped your game. Like I tell you all the time, in retirement, we need cash flow. You're probably going to need a part-time job. Use the selling premium strategy to do that. Okay, you can generate real cash flow. That's your part-time job in retirement. And I'll tell you what, once you learn it, it will open your eyes. You will be set free financially. And I'll tell you what, that's empowering. Hey, look, I hope if anything, you learn something, you come back, uh, subscribe to the channel, bang that like button, go to Facebook, follow my page. Hey, look, be safe, be healthy, most important, be lucky. Until next time, may all your covered calls be profitable.